All sports fans and welcome. We're back here at the Senior Center for Bocce Throwdown 2017. We're about to get started. We got the uh, police and the seniors warming up right now. But before we start anything, we have to know the rules. And you got some rules, right? Well, we don't have many rules, Mike. Uh, we've been doing it for so many years that even the police and firemen know the rules now. No, no. really? Yes, absolutely. Well, because I was talking about uh, this to Chief Slammer, and he didn't even know there was a game today. <laughs> They know the rules, but do they go by the rules? Ah, oh, okay. Right. But we do have, uh, in addition, thanks to Louis Manjot, uh, we have an improved precision instrument. On, on TV, when you watch these games, everything is replay, and did Edelman make the catch, and things like this. We have precision in this game. Uh, last year, Louis was helpful, and all he did was give us two long pieces of grass to measure the distance. I heard he cut them himself though. Yes, yes. But now we've got precision and we're going ahead with that. Uh, and by the way, while, I, while I'm measuring, I would love someone to volunteer to be a scorekeeper. Oh, maybe Over. we'll find we'll find a scorekeeper yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's someone there that can count, that guy in the sunglasses. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Okay. And, uh, so listen, uh, I, I do have, for people who watched the last two years, Yeah. They say when you measure these balls, watch where the camera is before you bend over to do it. They're, they're getting tired of that sight. All right. Okay. All right. We'll do. Uh, I hear rumors there's some plain clothes police today mm -hmm. making sure there's no ringers from Milford. They, they, they are, they've been posted at the end of the road and they're oh, checking good. all the vehicles. Oh, good. Because they, they hide them in the trunks. <laughs> okay. All right. The, the, Seniors team has been chosen. Uh, yeah, we have we, we have uh, on the near side, uh, we have uh, Ray Angeloni and Sylvia Rivard. And on the far end, we have Donna Kempton and Carol McBride. Uh, for the PD, we're going to start off on this side here with uh, Sergeant Brennan and uh, retired Chief slash Lieutenant slash Officer Wallace. He was everything. He did it all. Yeah. And uh, down at the other end, we have... He looks like he's retired, but he's not. Phil Powers, our school resource officer, and uh, the police full-time ringer, Chief Lee. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right. So you're going to announce the rules to these folks? Well, I don't know that we have to. We, we, we know where the ball has to start from inside the boundary by a foot away from the far wall. Uh, I think they know them, and they've been, they've been good at it. All right. Um, so, uh, so hold on a second, but before I know, did, did they start? Uh, what, what's, I don't know. I think hold on, John, did they right start? Or they warmed up still. Okay, just check it. Thanks, John. Our other referee over there. With the uh, seniors team, it's a little less formal than the uniformed teams that we have. And as the play goes on, if they want to switch in and out uh, sure. players, they can. Well, well some, of the, some of these officers um, are behind the seniors, so they might have to switch out as well. And <laughs> if they get tired. I'm ready to go. All right. oh, with all these uniforms around today, I think it's uh, wise to point out that I, too, am going to be in uniform. Really? You're, you're doing that to us? Yes. Yes. We'll have to blur that out yeah. during the editing. Yeah, we have those little blur things that we put on TV. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have all right. A, have a good game. And you, too. And uh, referee well, OK? OK. I and uh, where are the cannolis? I haven't seen the cannolis yet. Who okay, all right, we got that. All right, hey, thanks very much. All right, so you, you heard it there first. We're going to just wait for him to get the warm-ups out of the way, and then we're going to get started uh, for Bocce Throwdown 2017. We'll be right back. All right, we're getting ready to start. We'll decide on who's throwing right now. A couple little rules going. The the, uh, the ball has been tossed, and this is the first pitch, and we have our Ray Angeloni with the uh, first one. Wow, that is close. That is close. And uh, I'm here today with uh, my co-broadcaster slash camera operator doing double duty today, Tom Nappy. Tom, what do you think about this event today? It's always a fun event, and I know uh, all these teams have been training very hard. So uh, we'll see who comes out on top today. I think we're going to have some good bocce matches. Yeah, I'm with you on that one there. Uh, you know, we, we get to joke with these guys. This is a great little community event. 
and everyone's a good sport. They all take the time out of their day to come out here and support the seniors like they do. So, Officer Sergeant Brennan is now up, and uh, he's got a little tough uh, throwing problem there with his uh, with his vest still on. Ooh, that might be the closest one there. Yeah. Let's see what he does here. Oh. Yeah, that, that one's going to be the closest one. That one. That one might actually have it. We might have to get the tape measure out, and we will. And so that ball is in. So the seniors will now have to toss theirs to get closer, or they're going to push that little white ball. Let's see what the strategy is going to be. Nice little toss by Ray. Looks like that's going to rest right in there. That's it. So now, now it's up to the seniors to throw their two, their last two. Sylvia Rivard is going to get up there. All she can do is score. Hit the white one move it way down. Oh, that one might cut. No, a little short. They want a little more power on it. <laughs> oh, that might just push that one in. Hank's going to get out there, and he's tossing out the fouls. Here we go. I hate to see him measure a fish. <laughs> one point. All right. All right. You got only one. Well, the, the blue takes the lead with some uh, with some great tossing from uh, Sergeant Brennan, who's been working out a lot. He's been he's been working out a lot. He's looking kind of tired right now. He's gonna go and uh, take a seat and relax because that was that was a big point to take the lead as the police go up with one nothing against the seniors. The pressure was on and he handled it nicely. So now on the other end, it's going to start up as Hank comes up to fill up the board. Hank's doing double duty, refing and scorekeeping. He just needs help adding, so we're going to have to yell out numbers to him. So right now, throwing for. The police, we got Chief Lee. Oh, it just has to, he bumped that ball just a little close. But we all know he's the ringer right there for the blue team. And here comes school resource officer, Phil Powers. He's got a nice, he's got a nice gentle toss, you know, very feminine. It's very nice. Up oh, his <laughs> getting okay, haggled, haggled uh, from Cal McBride. Oh, oh wow! Now throwing for the seniors is Donna Kepton. Don kept it with a nice ball. Might push it. Oh, just missed. Just missed. And uh, Cal McBride with her last toss. She started it all off. That could be trouble. That could be trouble right there. Close. And it looks like... Uh, Yeah, now it's tied up at one. Oof. Looks like we have ourselves a game, Mike. Yeah, it, it looks like it could creep up. Uh, and heck, what are we playing till today? 
We'll see the pace. Was it 12 or 15 by 2? We'll have to find out. We don't know what we're playing until yet. It all depends on how much time goes. Yeah, we'll have to watch the clock. Do we have a climatologist to tell us how quickly it darkens? Oh, wow. Come on. Who brought the new guy? What happens when you do that? 10 push ups? Yeah. 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 It looks like he's going to be playing catch down there. Nope. Go I will go 12 points by two. All right, so we're going to be playing to 12. Got to win by two. So, uh, so, Sergeant Brennan, I, I got to ask you that first toss, the little white ball, was it? Just too much crossfit, or yeah, what's yeah. going on? No, I haven't done crossfit in a while. You know, just played a little golf yesterday. The ball's a little, little small, a little bigger. You used to trying to send it far. A little further, yeah. Gotcha. Right. I was wondering what was going on there, but we'll let you. Okay, good news. And the blues up. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yep. Seven feet, three inches, he said. Okay. And here comes uh, Chuck Wallace. Oh, he's right on there. That's going in. Just a bit too much. I think he was just trying to push the red one back. Still a little too much. Sure did. Ray Angeloni. Trying to get some more points here. And she might have just done it. Pushing the ball closer to hers. She's got one more toss. And that's right in there. Yeah, they should be going for at least two. Two for the seniors that they take the lead. I know. So, uh, Sue. So, Sue. Another well planned event today. Yes, Mike. <laughs> Come on, be a little happy here. I wasn't in on the planning. I'm just a helper. Just a helper. What did we help ourselves to here? We have some appetizers, and we have lemonade and Dunkin' Donut cold brew. There you go. That's mm -hmm. nice. I was wondering where all the coffee was coming from. Great. Yeah, help yeah. yourself. Yeah, and we get some more stuff coming out here. Yes, we do. We have cool. some lovely sandwiches coming when this is all over. Yep. Yep, it'd be Perfect day well, for it. I'll be looking forward to it. Okay. All right. Thank you for all your help. Okay. Thanks, Susan. Tony, you learning? <laughs> all right. That's Flo. Nice, Phil. So Phil Powers just uh, makes on, it in. And the seniors are going up. It looks like uh, Kyle McBride will be tossing. Donna Kempton, 
She's got two balls left to throw in there. Oh, so close. Oh, I don't think, I think all he did was help the seniors. Oh, oh one for Blue. What are you selling out, Phil? So it looks like uh, Phil helped the police's, policeman's cars, and now it's uh, three to two with the seniors. You know, Bocci, sometimes angelized as Bocci, is a ball sport belonging to the Bulls family, closely related to the British Bulls in French, which common ancestry from the ancient game played in the Roman Empire. Did you know that? I did not, no. Did you care? Uh, of course I did. Just checking. I know you're a Bocci historian, Mike. You studied the game uh, relentlessly. I wonder if we'll see any good spocking here today. You know, there was a there's a couple soft spocks earlier, but uh, I don't I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think you're going to see uh, if that happens more with the uh, red and the blue teams. Ray Angeloni trying to get up there close to the Polina. And he's in there. He's got that. He's got that nice little curve. You can tell he's experienced. Do you know bocce is the third most popular sport in the world, next to golf and soccer? Wow. I guess most of the world hasn't heard of football yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> there are 25 million bocce players throughout the United States alone. Those participants will be watching the uh, Campo de Bocce's live stream of the games over the internet. Because I don't think uh, the Ocho picked them up. Uh, well, I mean, I'll certainly be watching that tournament. All right, let's see what Ray's going to do with his second ball. A little short. So I wonder uh, how many hundreds of thousands of viewers then we'd have if we stream this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it could be a few. I mean, if there's 25 million players, there's all right. So you figure some siblings, that's 50 million. Just like that, another one. So yeah, it could be a lot. Yeah, it'd be like a typical HCAM news broadcast. I just thought it was something that us Italians did during lawn bowling, you know? <laughs> Two points there. <laughs> oh, so Powell's reminding the other half of his team that they haven't scored yet. So the seniors with the commanding lead. Oh, five boy. To two. And uh, with me now is uh, retired officer Pat O'Brien. Patrick. Thanks, Mike. Uh, very competitive match here. Um, we're, we've got the 18 from the senior side. Officer Powell's and Chief Lee are, are keeping us close, but um, Sergeant Brennan and Lieutenant Wallace. Not so much? Well, yeah. I, I don't think they've um, did any um, prep work coming into here. I don't think they went to um, the preseason league. I think they're trying to come in cold and nice just one, glad off some powers. You know, he's, he's a veteran. He's been right, playing bocce right. for the past 25 years down the Cape, um, up here in Hopkinton, over in Milford. 
Yeah, and, and Chief Lee was born with the uh, bocce ball in his hand down yep. there in uh, one socket. Yep, and um, you know it hasn't been substantiated, but rumor was that the uh, Hawthorne police replaced the firing range with, with a bocce court. You know, so that explains that many excavated down there. Well, uh, you know, again, it hasn't been substantiated, but you know, he, he was so um, depressed by losing to the fire department last year that he said he was going to pull out all stops and um, bring home a victory for the, for the blue team tonight. Who are the medics today? Well, I think it's going to happen, but you know what? It looks like uh, Brendan here has uh, suffered. He's, he's got a huge sweat on his brow, which, uh, thank goodness, you know, Lieutenant Wallace doesn't have any brow. So uh, I, I don't know if that's the difference, but, I mean, could it be that double, double bulletproof vest that he's wearing? Well, Tim Brennan, you know, you put him in his police job, and he's cool as a cucumber. You know, he'll stand up to any criminal, any bad guy, uh, any situation, and he's, he's cool. But you put him on a bunch of court with a couple seniors, and um, he sweats. He, he gets nervous out there, so um, we're trying to try to get him over that hurdle. Well, he knows, he knows he'll be there someday soon with him, and maybe he fears for that. Well, you're right. Um, I, I, he knows that this place fills up quick, and I think he has an application, and so he just wants to make sure that, um, you know, when that time comes, he, he's, he's got a home. Well, I think he's going uh, to, I, yeah, I think he's got to come around, come to the second half of this match here. I mean, it's 5-2, to two, the game's to 12. He's, there's still plenty of time. Yeah, there is. Um, you know, if they can stop pulling up, as you see, um, Chief Lee and Officer Powell's down there. They've uh, been carrying the team. And um, it's time for kind of one of Sergeant Brennan to, to at least get a point. Because, you know, they're nil right now. They haven't scored yet. I noticed Chief Lee, he hasn't really uh, come out strong here yet today either. Uh, do you think that he's just laying low after, after the crushing uh, dominance that he performed l the last two years on the seniors in those flat tires when they slashed his tires after? I mean, do you think he's just letting them have their way with them? Well, again, another report has not been substantiated, but um, after the big throwdown he did last year, um, I heard that the Board of Selectmen sent them to sensitivity school, um, that, you know, they wanted a little more compassion and empathy for the seniors, especially um, the lady seniors. Yeah. And as you see, um, him and Officer Powers are playing against two lovely ladies down the end. And I think that uh, sensitivity school has started to kick in, but as you saw in his last throw, I think he's kind of kicking that class to the side and that natural instinct of, um, you know, it's a natural winning. Competitor. Yeah, it's just, it, it just got to come in. All the time. It is. So we'll see. Um, senior center, I think they've been out here practicing. Um, this is their home court. You know, our, our rifle range slash. Um, Bocce court is our home court, you know. Yeah, gonna go over and practice in your house. If we can get them to our court, you know, it might be a different story. But you know, when you go on a foreign court and That's a good one. I don't know if, if, if your camera can 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 pan. First of all, get get uh, oh. Oh. he actually got a point. Oh he's not done yet. Look he's he's yeah. done at release that next yeah. one. Yeah. But if, if if your camera can just quickly pan this this audience, it's a hostile crowd of um, all seniors <laughs> and they are really getting on the uh, the PD and I think that's affecting our uh, throwers so I think we're going to try to knock the ball over. Uh, 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 he, he puts a he's got this great little spin but it didn't catch that time uh, maybe, maybe there's a couple big rocks on the course. I gotta tell you in, in, in all the years we've been coming over here he, he is probably the best bocce player I've seen you know he's mm -hmm. got great technique he's got great touch um, he tried to go for a knockout on that one. He just missed it. But he knows how to play the game. Um, and he's, uh, they're going to win. And, you know, certainly he's going to be a big part of that. But um, the whole team is strong. Now, I don't know if uh, Sergeant Brennan was just helping by hand and Sylvia the ball, or did he do something to it? Maybe deflate it or something? Well, you know, might have, might have greased it up a little bit. And sometimes you put a little foreign substance on there and, you know, it'll, it'll kick to the left or kick to the right or slow it down some. Or, you know, if you grease the skids, it'll go a little bit fast. So. Oh, it looks like Lieutenant Wallace has woken up. 
We yes, warmed uh, up. You know, right? We warmed up. You might have uh, been going to that sensitivity class with uh, the chief, and you know they might have just the give this sign and said, you know, we gave them enough. Now we're going to come back and, and play our game. So, so we'll see. You know, um, the seniors always give us a good game. And, uh, you know, I think really, hopefully they're not looking ahead from the seniors to the fire department because sadly the fire department did beat PD last year. And, In the year before? Well, you know, some of us can't remember two years ago, but we certainly remember a year ago. And um, our fellow public safety officers across the street has uh, never let us live that down. So, um, I could I could tell. Well, I I think they would have been uh, fine with it, but uh, you know the pocket tickets on the fire trucks were kind of a little right. overboard. And um, I heard one time again not substantiated. They put one of those um, boots on the on the fire truck and um, you know kind of hooked it up there for a little <laughs> while until um, concessions were made for uh, further games. But that's again yeah. that, that's just a room we're not yeah, sure. <laughs> well, Phil Powers is still working strong, but you know, there's, there's uh, three balls in there. It looks like uh, Chief Lee has to throw his last one, and then it's all scoring points for uh, the seniors. You know, as you can see, um, well, one's going to get through. Because right. um, right now, Officer Powers is having trouble with the long game. And, and the ball's down after it gets the past three quarters of the court. Um, Officer Powers, you know, he's great with the short game. But when, when you go deep on them, sometimes you have trouble getting the ball all the way down the end of the court. So if well, the seniors pick up on that, they're going to start playing the deep game. And the officer powers might just be, be taken out of it because, you know, the fact of the matter is he just has trouble making the ball reach all the way down the end of the watching court. What, what, you think, uh, I noticed where he's sitting, you think Kathy Petrelli's getting into his head at all? You, you know, that's, like we heard, part of their MO. Not only um, were they going to put out their A team, um, they're going to have their fans on the sideline distract and get in the heads of our players. Um, and I think kind of bring up that sense of intensity training and, mm -hmm. and, and, and kind of lean on um, that aspect. Well, it looks it looks like there was only one, but uh, yeah, they're going to they're going to check anyways. Hank is getting the mileage out of that Louis Manja tape measure that he just got donated. Um, Yeah, your good eye. There you go. Oh yeah, red very So, one more for the blue. Hank Alessio, he's getting a lot of exercise out here. You know, a lot of close balls, you know, up and down and bending over and doing that. And he's the mathematician. Looks like a horse there kicking out of there. We also, we might have mentioned this earlier, but just looking at it, you know, we came upon picking up John Palmer down the end there. Um, who, every year, he's always been here to. Uh, Get the court in unbelievable right. shape. Yeah. This is one of the best bocce courts on the Northeast Circuit of the bocce tournaments. Yeah. And um, well, just driving down Main Street and just seeing his yacht alone. If you know that whoever's taking care of that yacht is taking this <laughs> this court, it's going to be the best around the world. Exactly, exactly. And um, it's firm and it, it's it's level, and it's it just got a nice roll to it. And um, there's no excuse. I mean, if you lose, you lose because the other team beat you, or you beat yourself. Not Hello, because of the court. The court is, uh, is I think it's uphill. One of the nice fun facts about this bocce court, this bocce court was, uh, was made by a generous donation of an Eagle Scout project. And uh, the Eagle Scout, I don't remember which one, built it. I think he's on the uh, billboard inside. Um, he was on, on the billboard inside, uh, is his name, but uh, it was an Eagle Scout project, and it's been used ever since. Oh, well, just saw him in between there, Ray, I believe that's his name. Um, fab, fabulous, though. Fabulous, though. Wow. And there goes uh, Sergeant Brennan with a big spark, as we like to call it, where he uh, slams the other ball out of the way. That goes throw by uh, Sergeant Brennan. He is um, one of the department's defensive tactics instructors, and I think he relied on that skill there for the defensive tactic to knock the other ball away and, and put his ball in there. So um, he probably learned that in the um, schooling that he had to how to, you know, defend, deflect, knock the bad guy away, and, and slide himself in there for the point. So. Great shot by Sergeant Brennan. 
Ray Sloan again. Yeah, you, you can't you can't underestimate Ray. He does a great job. He's got this awesome curve to his uh, to his throw. So Sylvia's gonna throw the last ball for the red team. Yep, this is all. So we got, oh, we got a couple more balls there. So you never know. You know, one throw can change the whole outlook of, of the play. Um, you move the white ball to Pauline, to Polina. Yep. Um, depending on what side of Italy you're from. You know, right, or if, or if you're from the island. Right. My side of Italy, which is Ireland, is, uh, we call it Capoline. But, um, you know, you hit that, and then, man, the whole thing changes. So the other thing you got to kind of watch all is, is when to accept um, your points or when to get greedy and try to grab another point. And, you know, you do that, and you can knock another ball in like Sergeant Brennan almost did there. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to take your point and run. Sometimes you want to grab two and you end up knocking your ball out or knocking that ball closer and, and changing the score. Rate. So, um, all part of the experience. Are you learning? All, although Officer Brennan is um, on the veteran side of life, um, he's still rather new to the Pachi circuit. So, he's, he's still learning, you know. All right, Billy. We still call him a pup on, on the, on the Pachi side. <laughs> Um, you know, then, then when he gets on, you know, he's back to being a veteran of life. All right, so Phil uh, lands the plane are really close down here. So uh, what do you think his strategy is at? Well, this is always fun when you play deep in the corner. Um, the thing here, though, is we're going to have to see if you're going to get any bounce back from the rear. I, I think the way this court's set up, um, you're not going to. And if it hits the rear, it's going to pretty much die. But um, this is where you can kind of... Let it all throw out. Um, you can get a chance of moving the ball into the corner, and it becomes just a big mess in there. And it's uh, that's a chance there, Sergeant Wallace, Lieutenant Wallace, um, Chief Wallace, uh, retired Wallace, retired Wallace, uh, <laughs> crushing guard Wallace, <laughs> detail officer Wallace, all right, dog officer Wallace. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. What's left? But uh, so yeah, the game's deep in the corner. Uh, Always fun, and uh, to see if Officer Powers can make it down here because he, he was lacking the ability to get it down deep before. But um, oh, you know, looks, we, like we, we, looks like we have a substitute down there. Oh, there we go. Do some power that. We'll find out. We'll find out who that is down there. Uh, we'll, um, we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll put Sergeant um, Officer Powers School Resource Extraordinaire through the um, weight training program of the Bocce Circuit. Oh boy, look at this, you get some assistance going on. Yeah, you had a four foot bend in that. Come on. Okay, blue. All right. One bend? Oh. Sergeant Brennan's gonna wanna appeal that ruling, but fortunately it stayed with the, with the blue team. I heard all the appeals have to be in writing to Cindy Chesmore, and I talked to her earlier and she said, not a chance. <laughs> And she, she'll review them next year. Yeah. <laughs> she might, if she has the time. This is a busy place here. Well, I see Judy back here. Um, I haven't seen Cindy able to make it today, or is she not available? I, I talked to her by, uh, over the phone. We did a phone interview. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh. All right. See, when, when you go to the corner like that, you don't know where the balls are going to go. So now this is where you're going to say, um, do I take a chance? Do I get greedy? Do I take the one point? Also oh. follows with a nice, nice. Whoa! Wow. That was classic. How to use the real ball. Um, excellent. Um, Chief Lee's going to try to run it down the rail, but he wants to be careful. Because if, if he hits that ball and he can knock the white. I think he's just going to stick with the two. Yeah, going to stick with the two. Not a bad strategy. Um, I, think, I think Hank's a little upset. He's got nothing to measure on that one. Well, I think, so. <laughs> I think um, you know, the Chief and, and Phil's picking up their game down there. Um, uh, I don't know. We don't want to go. I think it's 11-5. So it's 11-5. The game's to 12. Yep, Tim. And Tim's going to throw the Polina out there. <laughs> and um, the he game gets tiring. He does, game, he does a three-quarter. Right, well, the game gets tiring. And, um, you know, towards the end of the game, you'll see plays, um, especially rookies like Sergeant Brennan. Well, they, they know they can pick up the balls with a stick. They don't have to keep bending over like that. I mean, he's, he's getting out of breath over there. Yeah. Well, you, you'll, you'll find towards the end of the game, he, he can't make the ball get past half court. So, um, but, you know, again, that's a strategy of the short game.
Oh, it looks like Ray, Ray is just, he's resting. He's got a leaner. No doubt he's going to. Now that strategy right there, he just sparked. Uh, Ray's ball out of the way, but also push the Polina further away from all of them, which still makes Ray the closer ball, and the PD have to throw there too. Opens up the door a little bit where um, Jake Wallace can kind of get that down there and uh, get closer. You know, when the Polina, Polina is right close to a ball. It's, it's tough to get around it, so sometimes you just got to clear space and then get your next ball closer. And uh, Lieutenant Wallace did that. So. Right. Well, Mike, you, um, um, we, we get on to the next game right now. Just, uh, we can just extend the appreciation for the Cindy and, and Judy and everyone at the senior center. I think this is the third year we've done this, and um, they, each year it gets better and better. You know, they put on a nice little spread for us. They Crowd's getting us. bigger and bigger. They had to go order chairs from uh, from different parts of town. Yeah, yep, they do. And um, a couple more people, I think they will require the police detail to, to handle the crowd. Yep. So. But um, you know, as long as the crowd doesn't get too unruly, I, I think we'll be fine. And I, and I think if they need any more help, we can start charging an admission and uh, really help with the uh, with, with the uh, senior buses. That's always a possibility. You know, those se those senior buses over there, they are not funded through the budget. They are not funded through taxes. It is all by donations. It's all funded by their can drives and, and all their donations. The the, uh, the the thrift store here and all that. Fund the drivers, fund the gas, fund out, all that. Well, that is um, really something that I don't think a lot of people know. And, you know, it, it really should be addressed because if, you know, they have a bad year on cans at a thrift shop, you know, we'd hate to cut back any of those services. And hopefully there's a, um, something in place that if um, money runs short on the fundraising, that there is part of the budget that can pick up because... Um, all these seniors depend on that. They depend on getting from A to B. And um, if we tell them, no, we, we can't do it because we didn't um, return enough cans this month, that, that, that'd be really a shame. So it's something that we you know, should be looking at too. They have a fantastic uh, support uh, with their volunteers. Their volunteer base is incredible. I think it expands over 150 volunteers. Yeah. You know, Huckenden is just a great, great volunteer. Um, town, the community the services that they do, um, it, it's just phenomenal. And um, especially the seniors, I think everyone understands, especially um, people here at um, Davis Road and, and you know in the community, just you know how important they are to this community. Most of the people around here have lived in here, you know, most of their lives, and a big fabric of what Hopkinton was made. And um, you know, they're a great basis of knowledge. All right, so I, I didn't find out who that is, Tommy, and I can't tell. So I'll have to find, get a name. And uh, but that was a nice uh, throw to Paulina, and he's he's uh, right out in front. He's oh, it looks like Chief Lee's going for the spark, and he does. He pushes him out of the way. Mike, it looks like Chief Lee is putting a lot of power on his throws today. Yeah, I think he, I think he's uh, playing that uh, defensive mode where he's trying to get get those balls out and make room for his other player. I mean, this, he's he's nervous now. I mean, he's locked up at 11, one point away from a victory, but uh, uh, seniors are creeping along point by point, getting closer. So. Uh, if you pan around to the back side, get all the firefighters. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, the fire department watching very closely at their blue team they, and the senior team because they don't know who they're going to face next, you know. They're playing a close side. Lieutenant Jurassic looks like their team leader, and he's uh, he's uh, instructing them what to do. And uh, along with uh, firefighter Bailey, who just hates the camera as much as his dad does, and uh, their ringer taking it easy down there, Sarah Jordan. She's uh, she's got her eyes. You know, her biggest competition is going to be Chief Lee. 
So the seniors again point up, creeping up to now within four of the police. This isn't over yet, Mike. Yeah, if they can get by um, this, this throw right there, we know you get four points on a turn, so seniors can, can take it back and two tosses here, so at least they're gonna start getting nervous. So, so Ray goes down just over half court and uh, about a foot off the wall. Oh, they're coming over with more food again. Look at this, thank you, Joyce. We got more food, Tom. Tom, get in on this. Yeah, Tom, Tom, Tom. Thank you. Got to help empty this tray for me. Yep, sure. We have to, we, we, we you told we have to eat all the food. Physically. Yeah. Thank Otherwise, you, you know much. what happens. Who eats it the next day? <laughs> Staff. <laughs> Sergeant Brennan uh, makes it in and holding up his end of the team. And Tim Brennan now giving Powers a spelling lesson. Ray hooks it around off the board and spots the Polina away and gives his team a point. Well, it's a team game, so you get that away from the blue, and then you're hoping that the teammate can pick up the point by uh, creating space on, on that ball. Well, Brennan just practically threw that one away, <laughs> leaving all the work to Wallace now. What are you driving, As up? Usual. What are you driving up? Time at a pickup truck. All right. So, Wallace picking up the slack there and doing what Brennan couldn't do. As you know, <laughs> Sylvia Revive is up to uh, to make all that hard work not count. And uh, going to covert strategy, you'll see. Sergeant Brennan right behind his uh, opponent, probably whispering things that we can't hear to try to get into her head, try to you know, make her oh, sure, go yeah. off and stuff like that. So, oh, what, did, what did he just rub on that ball? What yeah. did he put on that ball? Yeah, I don't trust him at all. Yeah, he's, right. yeah. Well, he's a big toss. This, this could be the game, so. We need to, oh, she, she yeah. should have pushed that one in. Oh, no. All right, we got it. That's game. Oh yeah, let's let's see what Wallace does with this last ball. Let's see if he can get two points. Right in I think I think he's he's gonna throw it at Phil Powers. Oh no, he threw it at Phil. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, I would have thrown in the corner. That's game. Yeah, but it's game. Yeah, it's game. So it looks like. Hey Phil. Yeah. It looks like Phil uh, Phil Powers and uh, Ed Lee carried the police for the first half, but. Sure enough, it was all Brett and Wallace for the second half. Well, they did. You're right. Um, seniors jumped off early. Um, Chief Lee and Officer Powers, you know, kept Hoppin and Petey in it for, for the beginning as um, Lieutenant Wallace and, and Sergeant Brennan seemed to uh, have an early nap. Yeah. But um, as, as the game got moved on, um, the team of Brennan and Wallace um, picked it up and, and, and did well through the game. All right, well, John's going to go out there and manicure this field. We're going to take a little break, and we're going to be back for the seniors versus the fire in just a minute. Now, I noticed, I noticed you took off, and then all of a sudden, the alarms are going off for the fire. What did you do here? Well, you know, I think they, they wanted to put on a show that they wanted to play us, but I think they heard of the practice that we put in this year, and I think they're running scared. Uh, I, I, I there was a setup. Somebody pulled the box somewhere around the corner. Yeah, yeah I think somebody somebody yeah, called them away, so yeah. the engine has yeah. to go. But it only took away one member. It kept it kept Sarah Jordan here. Good, she she must be on the ambulance today. Cat in a tree. Oh, so we gonna? Oh, looks like we're gonna have a father-son team up here. Oh boy, <laughs> Lieutenant Krause and Firefighter Krause will take over. Yeah. Uh, police. The, the, yeah. Oh, come on. Jody, 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 you did a great job organizing another stellar event here. 
Uh, the seniors, they worked their butt off. You had a great team, but they uh, they weren't able to manage it. We had to, you weren't able to pull it through. Huh? You know, I mean, you had two yeah. future seniors. You had Wallace and Brennan. Uh, mm -hmm. Just beat them, beat them hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. I know somebody uh, they've been practicing enough, I guess, but. Um, we keep trying to get them to get out here and use it more often, but so this is there's no time frame. You just any time between eight and four so, o'clock they so, could play. So this year here we got something different. What's over there on that table? What what do we get oh. for? Yeah, can you show us this? What do we get if we could head over to the table? Why don't you get behind it and uh, and show us what we got here? Yeah, we've got. What do you got? Said it's about time to get. You hand something out at the end of this. Well, we should have yeah. done a long time ago. So it's not just bragging rights. It's actually it physical it's swag. Physical. Oh. And then just have it for life. Can you, I mean, don't yeah. you want this hung in your room? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw, I saw, well, I saw yeah. Officer Powers hovered over this table and, and, and sizing it to see if it'll fit around his head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's got a spot in his office just for that right there. Does, yeah. Well, I'm. We were really blessed to have this gorgeous day today. I really am thankful for that, that it's not too hot, and it's, and it's getting towards the end of the summer here. But, oh, it's just so beautiful out today. And we have some good food coming out, thanks to Oliva's. Oh, really? Uh-huh, yeah. I guess I'm staying. Uh, you are staying. We've got focaccia sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I know, but we do something different this year. So we always, we always mix it up. We always get something good. Yeah. We had the cannolis the first yeah, year was first the big hit. The cannolis, but we, we're sure we could handle sixty cannolis. So <laughs> I, I handled about twenty of them, if I remember correctly. <laughs> right. I'll have to play the tape back. But uh, and then uh, last year, you guys, uh, with the helps of the Lions, uh, put yes. on that wonderful barbecue. Yes, yes, was, the Lions did. They were very generous. And, and we had they worked music. Awfully hard. We, we had. Uh, 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 string musicians here? We had a string musician. That was uh, um, Brianna Smith. Yeah. yeah. Juliet and um, um, Juliet Smith's daughter. And what a lovely, lovely girl she is. But yeah, that was fun that having was her great. play. Yeah. Yeah, the whole event was wonderful. So this year here, and as, as we mentioned earlier, this crowd size is just getting bigger and bigger every year. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I hope it'll keep growing. Well, every, everyone seems to be having fun. You guys uh, did, did a great job. Did we just lose a bunch of our firemen here? Did yeah, well, yeah, I, I heard the police went out there and they, they stuck a cat up in a tree is and that, sent them on their is way. Is that how that happened? Yeah. Oh, so there'll be more for they, 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 the they thought they would get rid of half of the team, <laughs> but they only wound up losing one member. They don't understand how engine and ambulance assignments work, so they, 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 they did the wrong thing. So, But we're going to go back to this All action. Right. Tom, how's it look over there? What's going on over there? It's looking good. Uh, we just saw quite an impressive shot by the police team. So the fire comes out with an early lead, one nothing. And they, they have a point scored, but uh, Lieutenant Krauss with too much mustard on that one. But Johnny's been watching his dad play the last couple of years, and he, he knows what to do now. So, uh, John, it's, now that you're welcome to the department and everything, this is your first year playing. Uh, what do, you, what do you think? You ready for this? We, we you know you're going to be up for this kind of assignment. I mean, this isn't saving lives or anything. This is botchy. I'm going to give it my best. I learned from the best. I'll give it my best. All right. All right. So, uh, any, so you, you just stuck in at the last minute with the engine call. I mean, is that something you did? Was it something the police did? I think the police are up to something here. I think they're, they're trying to throw us off our game. But you got you to watch it. We're not going to let it happen. All right. Great. So uh, what's your strategy now? Are you just going to go in there and just point them to death, or are you just going to go in there and just beat them? We're just going to beat them. We're just going to go for it. Uh, I like your style. All right, try. Go get them. O'Brien with that vicious backspin. You should see him at bowling. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah. Well, Pat O'Brien always had a soft spot for the red team, and it looks like he's just <laughs> trying to get him a little closer. Wow, I didn't get the point. So fire goes up to two. I, I noticed this match has a little slower pace than the first one, and uh, the seniors can really keep a game going, but 
Fire likes to take it nice and slow, you know. They don't want to work up too hard. You know, it is getting close to dinner time, so uh, they need to slow it down just a bit. Right, they want to save their energy for the celebration after. Yes. Yes, just found out that Oliva's is catering some focaccia sandwiches. Uh, they're brewing some more uh, coffee over there and some lemonade. Peter Hunches, uh, Peter Hunches, uh gets some closer. Jimmy Gosler will now throw. Five five paramedic extraordinaire. He's been waiting for this all year long, for this day. Now, fight department ring of Sarah Jordan with just a little too much. And that was a rare off shot there by uh, sure. Sarah. He keeps throwing like that, Mike. We'll let him eat dinner tonight. That's awfully nice. And, uh, but if he doesn't throw, uh, if he keeps throwing terrible, he's going to go back to midnight ticket. Yes, that could be. <laughs> well, it's a bit. That's, that's not what, uh, you know, having the chief around like this here, you know, he knows who to put on midnight stuff. Being on the chief's team, he better perform here. There you go. And, uh, there you go. Wooney, Wooney Knight's paying off right there. And so now with uh, Connor Crossford, uh, does he come in with any skills? I mean, he's the next good guy. Oh, Chief oh. just killed himself. Oh. I don't know. It's going to be close, though. Let's see what happens. So does uh, Connor Crossford come in with any special skills? This is his first time ever playing. Special skills, youth. Youth? Yeah. Youth? So you know, does... youth is wasted on the young, you know. <laughs> he doesn't get all exhausted bending over for those balls like the last team? No, he's in good shape. That boy's a physical specimen. <laughs> All right, so let's see what they are uh, going to go with. Hank's going up to the board. It looks like the police came up with only one out of that. Yeah, he, the chief hit it out of the way. He hit the pink one into the closer to the ball. Chief uh, doesn't get to eat tomorrow. Well, I don't think you'll have any say in that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. Connor with a Polina throw, and uh, yeah, look at that—he's going down. He likes—he likes to see if he likes to play off that wall at all. That's a good look, good look for Lieutenant Crow. Show us the work, please. Well, you know, he's a country guy. You know, you see, ever see that GP drives? He's a Mendon boy. So that's what you're supposed to do is knock the other team further away. Oh, look at that. Pat, watch out for that box. It's only been there all day. Pat's wrecking the place, tearing it down. I'm just wondering, did they switch to the lighter balls for this game? No, I think that's still regulation. Okay. As far as I know. Then again, I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> Crossman's going. Where, where is he going? Well, oh, that's closer. Uh, but not by much. Connor, that looks good, Connor. Patrick Kevin. Pat's mad at himself. He's playing golf. He refers to himself as Patrick Kevin. <laughs> It's like when my mother used to yell at me. I know it was really bad when the middle name came with the first. Oh, thanks, Lieutenant. That was nice of you. Nice every now and then. Oh, it does not look good for the red team here. It does, they, no. may, they, may need, they may need a ladder truck to get into yeah. this one. Yeah, I think things might just got tied three, up right three, here. That's three, I think. Uh, it could be two. We're going up uno, dos, tres. Three. We're going up three, I think. Two. Every time he measures. <laughs> that three? How many was that? One? All that excitement for one? Wow. I thought for sure we were coming out with three there. Cut across and kill this team there. What a joy kill you guys are. All right, so let's, let's see. Uh, the Polita throw should be. Yeah, Chief Lee, he's not, he's not messing around. He's going to do it himself. He's going to place it and watch. That first ball is going to go right next to it. Oh, it's in a little rut. Yeah. All right. Looks like Goslin's going to go first. 
And he's right in there. Yeah. You can't, you gotta watch out for those boys from Northbridge. They got a lot of time on their hands. Was that, was they took out an engine and put in a, a boxy coat in the back of the station. Uh, I was uh, talking, there. there's rumors going around that uh, you replaced one of your gun ranges with the boxy coat. There's, there's, the, there's the new guy. Ah. We call him NG for short, new guy. Have a day, Peter. There you go, Pete. Oh, he's got to go for the hit. Oh, that's great. That looks like there's three now. Got to get this one in there. This has to get it. Uh, wow. Oh, that could be that's three. That's three huge points right there. Here comes number four. If Pete throws like this again, oh, yeah, he's going to be off midnights for a while. Well, that's a good shot. That could be three. I think I see four. Four? Yeah, it might be that four. That could be all four. What do you think, Tom? That, that's almost a I think it's four. <laughs> yeah, they're not messing around. They brought out both referees. You get two tape measures going, John Palmer and... Well, I think we know who's getting the raise next year. Only two. Wow. Wow. That looked awfully good from here. It did. I was looking at it uh, pretty zoomed in. But you have to trust the uh, measurements. Sure. And, you know, we're not, we don't have that benefit like in basketball where at half court all the time you can see a lot better. When you're working one end, this is why I don't like doing hockey from the end of the rink. I'd rather be in the middle. Certainly. Oh. I think... Uh, I think uh, the new guy, Connor Crossford, is uh, thinking about using the boards. Chief. Chief, that was a, that was a nice little uh, scoring opportunity right there. Two big points. It looked really close. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We got the uh, young gun down here, Peter and Connor. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what, do you, what do you think about Peter's performance uh, by far? Awesome. Yeah. Solid. Uh, uh, Sergeant Brenner was a little shaky earlier. I don't know if he left now. But you're not, you're not going to pull it off. I don't think Peter's going to see Midnight's anytime soon? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, he might not. get promoted detective. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works, huh? I was, I was always wondering how that promotion stuff worked. All right. Well, it looks like uh, you have your uh, Italian wannabe, O'Brien, uh, making some nice tosses there. Absolutely. Did you see that one? <laughs> Good stuff. All right, Chief. All right. Well, good luck. Four to two. And the PD are dominating right now. You know, when you build a dynasty like the fire department has, winning two years straight, it's going to be hard to keep it going. You can't win them all, right? That is true. And, you know, uh, I think... This year, more than any other year, the police really practiced for this one because y you just can't lose three years in a row, right, Mike? No, no, you, you really can't. And, uh, you know, they've they seen those uh, beautiful medals. And we know police like the shiny medals on the uniform. So but it looks like uh, Fire comes back with two of their own to tie things up at four. <laughs> And Mike, you, you, you're around the uh, fire department a good amount, obviously. I mean, how much uh, bragging do they do towards the police? I mean, I'd imagine there must be some good trash talk. Well, the trash talk uh, mainly lasts about a week after the match. Um, and then a week building up to the match. That's when it gets going. Because, you know, it, it, it's, uh, the, the Chiefs run their ships just like Belichick runs his, you know? Right. And he doesn't let it go. I mean, you got, you know, when you get the press coming at you all the time, you got to give them something, and they give us the trash. As Belichick said, I'm not concentrating on the past like some people. I'm concentrating on the 2017 team. Right. right. All 
All right. The new guy. Now he did Peter some. Hunches. He did some damage last time. Let's see what he could do this sure. time. This, yeah, he squeezed right in there. Oh boy. Yeah. Wow. You don't need to measure that one. That's for sure. There's a uh, sniper Sarah. I believe we. Uh, Sarah's right last in there. Year. Oh. They don't call it dead eye for nothing. Chief's struggling a little bit this year. I noticed that. I don't know. I, there was rumor that he pulled a hammy on the beach. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at that. He comes right back. I was going to say maybe the nerves are getting to him a bit, but could have picked up a point there. Uh, it doesn't take much to make uh, Chief League. Uh, he doesn't crack easy, I should say. He's just well. This is bocce. So calm. Ah, but he's solid and calm all the time. He's amazing. <laughs> that did not help the red team at all, and it looks like uh, they picked up two points. Oh boy. So again, the police take a lead, six to four. Could the police do it? O'Brien well, just lobs the Polina out there. And he's just going to keep that off the back. If I recall correctly, they never had a lead this late into this match. No, 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 not at all. They usually they usually draw first blood, and then uh, then they blow up from there because they can't take the awesomeness of the fire department. But right now, they are doing serious damage. Good start here. <laughs> Oof. Just a bit outside. They are struggling right now. Johnny Cross in there. Oh, right idea. He wanted to spin that blue off the Polina to push that closer to the other three red balls. Great idea, but he just couldn't deliver. But, you know, he is a probie. Well, I see. Connor's just thinking nothing but points. This is a big opportunity for the police this is, here. This is huge. This is a chance for... The blue team to take a huge lead. So, uh, hey, Carol, how you doing? Good. Hey, you, you, hell of an effort there in that first well, match. You know, I, I sort of love playing every year against these police, and they're so nice. They even hand us all the balls. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. But they, uh, and then I see that you had uh, Tom come in for you. Yes, because I figured I wanted him to be able to play sometime today, and it's so busy with all the players. I wanted to give him a chance. Oh, outstanding! That was definitely nice of you. We lost. <laughs> they can't win all the time. Oh, no, I know, but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. That's good. It's all fun, and it looks like right now that uh, the police lead has just jumped another what two points? Three points? Three? Oh my goodness. This is like the largest. Where, where is Chief Slammer when I need him? I need to talk to him about this. This is just incredible. A five point lead. You've never seen this in the history of Hopkins and Bocce. Peter's just on fire. Some of these firemen look like they're 12. Yeah, well, he is. He just got on. The father and son right there. Oh, it is? Yeah. What's their last name? Uh, Kraus. The Menden boys. Oh, okay. Nice looking kids. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Hard what a, workers. What a nice group of police and fire. What a nice group. Uh, Hopkins is very fortunate. Yes, they are. Very fortunate. Very fortunate. And it's a lot of fun. And the senior center is marvelous. <laughs> senior center is fantastic, huh? Look at them. Look at them. All the food's lining up. Yeah, I'm getting ready to, to jump in there. I can't wait for this to end. I know. <laughs> All right, thank you, Carol. Thank you. So, uh, Lieutenant, your, uh, your team's kind of imploding here. What's going on? We're falling apart. Never had, a, well, never had a deficit we were, like this. No, that's, sometimes you gotta, you got to do the right thing and let someone else step up. 
carry the trophy for it. But. Is that how that works? Carrying the trophy? You heard it here first. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, let's see what might, this is now. Might have a winner here, Mike. You're done. You're done. What? 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 It, and I noticed, where, where's Chief Slim? See Chief Slim is on the house? Oh, he's way back there. They just lost, Chief. Wait, wait, wait. He's there way back there. He just lost. Wow. All right, so I have to, have to talk to the uh, to the red team. Guys, you could have pulled together? We let him win this year. You gave him one? Yeah. That, Can't be perfect story? every year, yeah. I guess. You gave them one. You figured they wouldn't come back at all next year? Exactly. They get the nice little medals now. That's fine. For their pretty uniforms. Yeah, exactly. Well, nice job out there. I know you guys struggled. I mean, your eye was on it today, but your arm just couldn't make it work. Balls are uh, rigged. I saw them touching them, throwing stuff on it. Hold on. All right, I got to go. Uh, Peter, Peter, one word. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a performance. You came in here. I mean, uh, is there something we don't know? I mean, I've been practicing since last year, so. You have been, all right, because I, I know Chief Kate Lee came in on the first year. No one knew nothing about him, and then bam, he blows the seniors away. The seniors get upset, slashed his tires. <laughs> and uh, when no. he came on, he already told me, he says, you're not going to see midnights for a long time. Good, 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 good. I don't, I don't want to be on midnight, so that's what, that was my motivation. So, uh, beating uh, the red team, how's that feel? It felt good. It felt good to win for the first time, I think, in two years. Two years. Yeah, that's right. They needed, they needed to be put in their place. That's right, that's right, that's right. We'll get them good. next year, too. You will. All right, we'll see, we'll see you at the awards ceremony. We had the, the big match is done, but we're going to have a little uh, consolation prize. And if the fight, whichever team wins, gets to eat, the other team doesn't. Our bellies are full. Pat, did you get enough to eat over there? Did you, did you, did you get enough to eat over there? I got to tell you, Mike. The seniors out there themselves this year. Oh my goodness! They huh? just brought a spread in, and I think what they wanted to do is is to feed the police earlier to get us too hungry, yeah. so we weren't able to to play properly. Because we know how you guys can overdo it. You know what? Cops, donuts, but yeah. you know yeah. we got focaccia sandwiches. Oh, from Olive, we got peppers, fantastic. We got olives. Oh, we got did you salad. try the orzo salad? I did. That's Judy Alyssa's uh, special recipe. Delicious. Orzo salad. Delicious. It was great, and the watermelon was so right. But I, I heard that. The fire department was willing to go over to Milford in one of their fire trucks, lights blaring, to get the food early, to get it to the police so they could eat too much and they wouldn't be able to play a good game. Yeah. But, but they couldn't get back in time. Couldn't get back in time, no. Nope. So um, the police had it, you know, didn't eat enough right and uh, they played well. Right and I think we all know the, the police department beat right. the fire department. They did, hands down, too. I mean, 12 to 4. Right. It was, it was and, an embarrassment. And, and as Chief Lee said, the uh, seniors gave uh, the, the PD a, a better game than the fire department this year. Sure. And uh, they, even the, they also said that the seniors had an easier time bending over and picking up the balls. I don't know what that's about. I thought that was some serious ragging. Well, I got to tell you, I'm looking at this team now. They, they really dug deep in the well here getting uh, Chief Slamming. Oh, yeah. Chief Slamming, who should be preparing for a very important selectmen's meeting, is here now. Instead, my homework this morning. all right, he's all set then. Okay. Well, and uh, nothing, nothing more important than the community service here with, with the absolutely. seniors in town, and uh, it's nice to see both Chief Slim and Chief Lee yep. out here. Um, yeah, you made it official. Right, ABC, here I come, Chief. <laughs> uh, here we go. Blue so, ball, a nice thing. Let's see what the Chiefs got in them. Look at that slide. Well, the, the, I think he the, just gave out uh, a little bit. What a lot of people don't know, Chief Slamming used to play this game a long time ago. And you can remember back in the days of the uh, police fire outings at Labor's oh, yeah. Trading Center. Exactly. We, Labor's we, were very kind to both of us. We had some great games on there. Oh, some great times. Oh, great Johnny. summer events. And a new firefighter, Johnny Krause, uh, hey, just off the railing. Um, Push the blue ball out of the Oh, way. and the red team and, uh, get on top. Yep. What do you think of that? Well, I, it was an exceptional throw by the young rookie. Yeah. And I, I think there's some power here with the father-son team as well, you know, having well, they, Lieutenant Cross and Firefighter Cross. Well, they were down here playing together. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, they played against a strong Hawking and PD team, and, and they just weren't quite able to do that. But 
They split them up this time. Um, they put the younger Kroos down here with the veteran Chief Slamming and um, the father, um, Bill Kroos, up there with um, Jimmy the KG, Jim Goslin. Yeah, KG. Uh, Doc, Dr. Goslin. At the plane against the rail, which is always an interesting game, Mike. Yeah, um, that could go anywhere, especially with these rails. These rails here, uh, they really don't have much life to them. They're a little soft. Yeah. But, you know, as long as you know how they play, you, you, you tailor your game to that. I mean, if they're bouncy, boy, that ball goes all over the place. Sure, but sure does. Look at this toss. You know, that's kind of like a... It's going to um, creep it in. It's a home. They, they creep it in. They know what to do. It's a homey court, so yeah. she, she knows how these railings go. Sure. She's blocking the, the, the throwing path of the fire department. And... Um, Hank Alessio, who is the uh, official in this match and whose wife Judy is one of the administrators here, I'm sure is making many friends with the seniors on that call. No, not at all. But, you know, he, he does call him the way he sees it. And if he doesn't see, he makes it up. Yep. <laughs> but I'll tell you, what a, a beautiful throw up there. <laughs> we can I'm, see. I'm just glad he got rid of the twigs. And, and, and they got a real tape measure. There's that tape measure again. And if you notice his style of bending too, his his rear end is not facing the camera anymore. He's now right, conscious right. and alert where the camera's placed. And Mike, we just got word in that um, the twigs used. Uh, I think Louis provided the twigs for yep. last year. Yep. Those were from the 1932 oh, yeah. Bocce League, and those are going to be uh, brought and inducted into the Hall of Fame. And are well, they going to bronze them like baby shoes and uh, hang them up? Yeah, you're going to do something special. <laughs> in fire department, and that was a. Papa Kraus down here at the end, coming off the railing, and wow. Here we go. Little gusto on this, coming off the That's rail. She's sneaking right behind. Look at this. She's got to creep right up. Uh, I think that oh, is a, is a I, class I think shot. we need a measurement. Oh. oh. Again, Hank Alessio not making fans with the seniors no, here. No. But, but, tough, I, but at least I saw call. he did use his good eye on that one. And That's he right. Is. He's not even going to use a measure. Yeah. And he's just hoping that there's another ball that comes in closer because he doesn't want to have to measure yeah. these at the end. Because sometimes he has to actually take those Coke bottles off and put them on his eyes. And All right, we're not going to do the rail. We're going to try to do a little push, that, that, push him up. There's but a nice spot. Not enough yep. gusto on that. Yeah, when you when you want to spark a ball, you really got to nail it. All right, so here we go. So right, does the uh, firefighter Goslin, does he? Go with the point there, or is he get greedy and try to get another point? I think he's gonna sneak it right down the rail and risk. Look at that! Look, yeah, not quite. Yeah. All right. right. I mean, that was dangerous to push a blue close. That's and right. Losing that one point. Hey, what's uh, Bill Cross? Yeah, he, he he's not gonna tampa. Whoa! He's trying to go around the other side with a curve and holy oh. cow! Wow! You know what? Who would have thunk? That that's really nice. Who would have thunk? It's a it's a shame. It's it's not like we used go. to ever hear the red team complain, but they were complaining a little bit that they did not get the warm-up that the police did in their match. Not only did they get the warm-up, but they also got a match in beforehand. Wow, wow, so wow, a lot wow, of them felt they wow. should have been playing this one here before they actually played the police. All right, well, we'll see if they can pick it up um, in this game here. Um, but that was an exceptional throw by Bill Krause. Instead of going through the traditional way everyone else had down the rail. He, he came around the other side, yeah. put a little spin on it, got around a couple balls and uh, tucked it in home. Oh. All right, we're hearing we're that. the officials say a technical. Throwing it back. And Throwing it back. Got to be off the wall foot. Oh, we are getting real technical here, all right. He must have left that page out of the manual. All right, we're getting a technical ruling from the. Uh, and he. Yeah, whoa, that almost, also means the back wall too. Almost another violation. All right, no technicalities Stayed on this alive one. on that one. All right, he, is he just gonna pound it? He is. He's throwing it hard. It's gonna come off the back wall, and let's see where. It, oh, look at that, huh? He has played this game before. Yeah. yeah. Chief Slim and not showing much mercy, but John Palmer, through his Italian heritage, knows how to play this game. And let's see what he does. You know, the southpaw, the southpaw coming over, and oh, oh, look at this. We're gonna need some tape measure, if we can get a close up of that right there, holy cow. Okay. 
Well, I tell you, Chief Slam has been doing a heck of a job down here. You know, the, the fire department did obtain a, C, a senior safer grant, and I thought that's why he was spending all his time down here. But I guess he's been spending his time down here practicing guachi. Yes. Um, again, community service, community firefighting. We need to make sure they're safe here. Yep. <laughs> and John Palmer going with a heavy one. The southpaw kicks it a little bit there. All right. <laughs> she doesn't clean houses, but she can throw a bocce yeah. ball. I don't do windows either. That's all right. All right. We're coming in there a little bit soft, and oh. All right. Here, what? Are, what's the red do? Are, are they going to chicken out and oh, kind of take the one, or were they going to try to go in for for another one? Yeah. Let's let's let's. Let's see what let's let's see what the Ute does. All right, we're gonna try a couple reels. I could knock a blue over uh -oh, there. Uh oh uh oh. All right. Chief Slimmer doesn't want to mess with that. I think he's gotta throw that. I think uh, he's got court. confidence. He's not here yeah. to get a one pointer. He wants to rack up some points. See if he can come off the back reel and Good idea. Good idea. Uh oh, that could Let's be trouble. See. This is gonna come across. That could be early. trouble. All right. Oh, I, might, I still got one point. That looks like one to me. All right. All right. For all that, we we get a point. That was a challenge. Right from the beginning, we had that firefighter point, and uh, seven balls later, nothing changed though. But I noticed the seniors have yet been able to put up any kind of score here. Maybe it was all the sandwiches. Because <laughs> I don't know about you, all I'm right. ready for a nap. We, we, it was good. <laughs> um, the plug into Oliva's over in Milford, um, the seniors order there. Sandwiches from over there, very, very good. Right, we're going deep, kind of a soft roll to the end. No bounce back there for uh, Firefighter Krause. And here we go, That's nice good. toss down. That's a good one. That's going to be kind of close to the ball, but looks like a blue. Yeah, I agree. Blue is in, red throw. All right. Seniors with the upper hand. Jimmy Kraus. Jimmy Kraus. Jimmy Goslin on the toss. Coming down straight. Going to split those balls, but we're still with a blue. Yep. Blue is in, red throw. That's kind of drifting, but right. that's going to bring him a point. I think he found the only live spot on that backboard. <laughs> All right, it took fire department three balls to, to get the point there. And uh, senior still with three to throw. Looks like we need a little more pick-me-up on these balls. So I think the fire department playing a long game, trying to take advantage of uh, the seniors there. I don't know how fair that is, but we'll, we'll, we'll let the audience decide on that. Mm. All right, here we go. Let's see if this is going to have enough gusto to come over. If that gets by it here and it's coming, coming, coming. Yeah, just a little short. A little short there. Yep. We're good. Looks like another red. Red team, red team might actually have two in there. This one here in front of the chief is kind of close. And Jimmy Goslin trying to slide one oh, by. Yeah. And it looks like he, he did. Close. That's close. Uh, I think we got, oh, we got, yeah, we got one here. We'll have to check. Is that everything? Oh, yeah. That's all. Yeah. All right, we got Hank down here with the tape measure to see what we can do. All right, another one for the fire department. They jump on ahead, six to nothing. Still a ways to go, game to 12. Yeah, yeah, no one's gonna quit. 
can get four points a shot, so um, seniors can jump back in yeah. here. And, and the police the proved sweep. that with that quick game against the fire, that's for sure. Well, you know, sadly, I don't think the fire department really brought their A game tonight. Um, they, uh, no, they weren't. I was talking to Fire Fire Jordan. She's feeling a little ill. She's, yeah. She, she uh, was going to stay home today, but she knew how important this bocce match was. Well, I'll tell you what is... Um, well, we might need another technicality here. We'll see what um, Hank Alessio says. He's going to let this go. <laughs> and uh, right. on the previous game, you know, we had a lot of veteran firefighters playing. Yep. And uh, a lot of experience, a lot of age. Um, well, probably the best player was their rookie, the young Kraus kid, firefighter uh, John Kraus. Yeah, he comes in strong, you know, and the, and, and the youth has a lot to do with that, you know. He's uh, he's a big, strong boy. He's just, uh, just he just got to tell him what to do once, and he'll yeah. figure it out. And I, I think the fire department just strung it out enough, you know, and tied down the fire department and, and their guys. You know, no matter how big his shoulders was, he was not able to carry that whole team. Here's a self block, John Palmer. He's right on it. Oh, little curve to the left, then bounced and took up behind. But, but I tell you, one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, things that killed the uh, enthusiasm of fire department is when the police took that four point lead and they saw Chief Slamman walking away. They thought for sure that all their support went. They called but, in a false alarm right at that point. That's what I was checking in on. You didn't even hear that part. Here of comes the score. A, I, 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 How can I hear? That how can I hear that? I, it's it right there by the ball. Nice I'm on toss, TV. I'm not listening to the radio. How can I hear that? And here comes that young Krause kid. They picked up. Look at that. He's going to go for that Coast spot. Leg, and Look he that. bumps it out and leaves it in with a couple. Jeez. Oh. Kraus just told me if he knew this game was this easy, he'd play it in high school. All right. He's kind of going for the juggler here. Oh. All right. Think you got a couple Day. The pressure was on in those last two. Yeah, seniors seem to be losing a little steam here. I don't know what it is. Hey, what do you, what do you think? What, what, what do you think the story is with the senior game here? I think they're tired. You think it is? Time, sure, I mean, they've eaten okay. they heavy, heavy meal. Oh my goodness, yeah, it is after five. I forgot. <laughs> nine, John, nine. He just drew a nine. For who? <laughs> we need a call, Ralph. What do you think, Jerk? So we grab Chief Slimming for one second. Yeah. Um, we see the fire department beating the senior citizens of Hopkins to nine nothing. I know our police department um, recently. Recently went through um, some sensitivity training. Um, we're just wondering if the fire department did likewise. You know, Mr. Palmer, he's not really a senior. Let's come on here. This team's kind of stacked, so we got to take him serious here. And uh, do you believe? You know. Do you believe I'm stepping on the jugular and just kind of <laughs> <laughs> extinguishing it? After a couple of hard years with the police, and we got beaten down this year, we're just trying to even it up a little bit. Not at the cost of the seniors, but we're just, you know, a little frustration is in the air. Okay, well, I, and I'm not sure what to say after that. Well, you know what Yogi said, right? What did Yogi say? Well, it's not over till it's over. It's not over till somebody sang. So uh, uh, the game's not uh -oh. over, and um, we'll, see. we'll see what the seniors can do to come back. When you said Yogi to him, I thought he was thinking Yogi the Bear. Yogi Bear. <laughs> yeah, Yogi Bear. Hey, Boo Boo. No, no, that's Smokey Bear. Oh, yeah, him too. <laughs> hey, I think we're talking about a picnic basket. <laughs> hey, Boo Boo. Gee, Yogi, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Shut up, Boo-Boo. All right. Nine nothing. All right, fine upon it. Just kind of. They're just laying them in there. Blue's up. Yeah. Yep, yep. even Fine Hank's getting tired. <laughs> All right, we're throwing it hard, coming down. If we can get past it. Not quite. I think we're showing a little frustration down the other end there. <laughs> we're going to have to hopefully sneak a blue ball through.
There we go. A little spin on that. We got to put a little brakes on it, but I think it's going to hold up. Yeah, that's a blue. Beautiful toss. Getting into some really nice position there with some points. Maybe their first one yet. See, I think Steve Slim wants to end. He, it he wants to go. He wants to take the three. <laughs> and um, oh, just a little bit long. See a lot of despair in um, down there. At Firefighter Goslin, I think he wanted to put the nail on the coffin here too. Coming in strong, coming in hot. I think he may slide one in there. It's going to be tight. It looks like a blow to me, Hank. I got to say that that's a blow. It looks like blow. It looks like blow. I'm going to call for a measure on that one. Oh, boy. There is. What are you seeing up close? Krause's not seeing any compassion. That's what he's saying. Back to eat he's, say, he's not seeing any. Hey, guys, you, they get all those sandwiches packed away for you. So, All right. 33. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, oh, did, don't, you, don't, you, don't, don't you remember what happened to Chief Lee in the first year? <laughs> He, I don't think he lived that one down. <laughs> he shut he shut them out and they slashed his tires in the parking lot. Uh, wow. Look, look, your mother's not even looking at you now the way you're cheering. Yeah, your, your, your poor mom. M Mom's getting embarrassed with your behavior. <laughs> well, we got to score 10 nothing. Fire department ahead of the... Uh, the senior all-stars. All right. We got Chief Slam and deciding. Back. All right. Let's see. As Chief Slam and his throat here kind of looks like, like his uh, nine iron into the green. Yeah. He kind of just a little plop That's up, a, a drop, right and there. a little roll to the hole. So um, showing that same form he does as he does on the golf course. Right on line, just a little bit short. There's the southpaw trying to come over around a little bit wide. The fire department is going to start smelling blood here. Unless we can get a blue in there close. Mm. All right. All right, I think it's a big throw from uh, Mr. John Palmer. He's got to kind of get it in there so not allow the fire department to. Here we go. There Exceptional throw. Exceptional. But, but, but wait, I still see three red balls over here. Well, We're not done yet. Chance, but it's going to be tough for um, Young Krause to knock that ball away. As you can see, uh, there's another blue ball kind of giving it a little protection in the front. Mm -hmm. Steve Slim is going to have to go about where the stands yep. are to kind of come in from that angle. Yep. Uh, yeah. It might be an impossible uh, angle to, to knock that ball out. But the young kid's going to put a little spin on it. Oh, boy. Went the wrong way. Not that one. All right. A little choke. Looks like the seniors have broken through. Yes. You guys made me feel a little guilty, so I kind okay. of. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody could make you feel guilty. You're killing them nine to nothing. That's it. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Sorry, missed it. Ten two. Oh boy. There you go. Ten to two. Ten to two. All wow. right. The comeback is yeah. started. Ten to two. Ten to two. Ten of two. All right. I think it's the first time the seniors had the pleasure of throwing down the Pauline. That'd be amazing to see the red team go down two games in a row. Well, you know, they've 
been known to, you know, if you string it out long enough, they get tired. And uh, you know, here, here they went. They went four games undefeated. Then they meet the police, choked big time against the police. That's why my throwers on this end with you guys in their ear the whole time. I, now I'm starting to understand. There you go. Oh, we, don't, we don't talk loud. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is to the television audience, not the players. See, the ch chief doesn't realize that this in here, it's all sloped downhill because they figured he wasn't going to be able to roll it uphill the whole game. So they give him the slight advantage of uh, once he gets out of his hands, the gravity will take the ball down the hill. We'll see, Hank. I think we got to get Louie to get a, a, a 10 foot tape measure next time. The, yeah. the six foot isn't quite covering all of it. I would get him a laser tape measure, but I don't think he could handle the technology. Oh, Bill Krause. What a nice toss. Kind of protects the, the yeah, Pauline with the red ball. Here <coughs> yeah, we coming in. Oh, look oh, at this toss. Coming in Look high. at that toss. But you know what? That was an exceptional Great toss because it opens it up. Keep nice, slamming on the stands that. That was a nice spark. So but now still, we, we, not we get have close the blue enough. ball come in and, and secure a spot, get a point. Here we go. I can feel the momentum kind of changing here to the blue team. Oh, that one I think got away from him. That got away from him. That's all right. He's got another ball. All right. Now she's been exceptional the whole game. Right. And, um, I, I expect nothing less than, than a point from her right here. Look there at this. It is. Come in. Oh, adding Look insult off. to injury. You're going to push yeah, that red one out. Look at that. Oh, just sneak right Look in. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, again, Hank Alessio not doing himself any favors with wow. the seniors here. Jimmy Goslin could try to. Give it to the blue. Give it to the blue. Can try to wow, finish the everyone, deal right here. Everyone wants to help the seniors. Oh, to ten the nothing. Look, he knocked his own ball out, and he is going to uh, open up for a blue. Everyone's done. I think Chief Slammon will be bringing him into the office on Monday and explain to him decision making. He was the back last year. You know, sometimes you, you get a little bit greedy and you get a little bit too much confidence and. Um, you don't make the right choice. He decided to go for a jog this afternoon. It's 85 degrees. I think he expended all his energy. energy. All right. You gotta pace yourself before an event like this. Was that jog around the ladder truck or was it around the engine? Oh, oh no. <laughs> and there's yeah. Mrs. Palmer right here. I think she's getting ready for next game. Yeah, that was Blue's point. Oh, oh. Hank, Hank's even helping out the red team by putting the points on the wrong foot. Here we go. So it's 10 to 3. Ooh. Yep. Maybe that's how he got that little extra. Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for everything. We'll see you Saturday. Yeah. Now right, I know. Senior. That, now I know why they don't give you a permanent marker. How are you? Let's do that. <laughs> All right. We'll see whether these. Uh, Firefighters can finish the deal. John oh, they, they've been stuck on this points for a while here. That right there. I think the seniors are just starting to get their win under the sails. What a beautiful. Oh, there you go. Holy cow. Here comes John oh, that one's going to go in. Looks That's to be going right in there. On. Right on, but might be right past. Yeah. Still blue. A little bit strong there, young Kraus. All right, she's slamming. Gonna try to duplicate. Oh, he's been in the corner again. Wow. Not only is it uh, tilted down, Chief, it's tilted to the left. Oh, boy, now we're going to the right. This could be an opportunity for the blue to get a few points. Wow. You know, if they can take four here. Just line up in front, they'd be all set. They can uh, get right back in this ball game. And here
here comes the anchor of the team, John Palmer. Played many young years over in the Italian League. And he's just going to sink one in there possibly for another one. All right. Let's see if we can have a little push me up. Very little. I don't know if that was enough to get any, any points, but. Well, they're gonna point you to death now. They're gonna take it nice and slow. One for blue. Blue. That's the senior. Blue. Senior. Senior is blue. There you go. Hank's got it. All right. Well, the seniors are holding hard and tight. And that's good. Look at that. As long as it can come back. Nice job. Games against the rail are always interesting because you can use that rail to hit your ball off or hit the Pauline off. And wow. Like that. A lot of mustard on that one. A little more uh, aggressive that was, game. That was kind of aggressive. Doesn't have to be quite as finesse as uh, the fire department just showed there. Now with the, some open space, he's trying to be a little more finesse. And that's going to be able to stop enough to get him the point. All right, here comes our senior. All right, blue. Coming down the rail. Oh, this is coming it's in like nice a and soft. Bit short on the gust, though. But what? Okay. If he can actually come up the rail, if he taps that up a little bit, he'll probably give it enough. There you go. That should knock right. it in. That's in. All right. He's gonna have to kind of go around the ball here. It's um. <laughs> Protected on the rails by the two blue. Jimmy Goslin. Over there on the side, he's gonna still have plenty of room to see the Pauline. And let's see how his touch is. Oh, that's just gonna slide right wow. in there nicely. Just like performance surgery. Yep. Coming in hard. Let's see if this can get him around. Oh, no. Not quite. All right. Let's Final see. Does he go for it? Does he go for the second ball. one? Let's see if um. Let's see if he gets the second it point. Again. It could be in. Oh, not, not enough. I think the Blues got the wow. second one closer, so we got one point. Match point coming up. Eleven four. All right, Chief, you got a chance here. We think so, too, Hank. All right, Johnny. Yeah, that's all you. Okay. All right, the young rookie is going to defer it to the Chief on this one. Chief's going to go center court, about three quarters of the way down. Going to have a little finesse here. Throw in the first ball. like he's dead straight, probably about a foot and a half away from the Pauline. He, uh, excellent toss. It's going to be tough for the uh, blue team to come around and get closer to the ball without hitting that red. John Palmer decided he's going to come in from the left, being a left-handed thrower. He's got, might be able to slide that right by and hit. Oh, oh. Hit just a little rut. He was heading right to the ball and oh, they, he did do it. I think the strategy here from Young Krause is going to be to um, hit the red ball and kind of looks push like he it up. found the fast lane on that one. Oh, Chief Slamming was going to try to save. <laughs> I think he pulled All a right. hammy. 
Let's see, Kraus. He's been pretty dead on all day. He looks like he missed this one too. Oh, that one's oh, in. Oh, how'd that thing oh. curve? I opened up my mold up too quick. Holy oh. cow. Wow. In. You're up. And the probie wow. gets that point. What a change that ball made. That is a nice bloop that can hit the other one. No. Nope. Oh, good effort, Carl. Never get hit that one. All right, we got two more tries by the blue to get a point. If not, that'll be 12 for the fire in the game. John Palmer gonna try to slide this right in between. He has a chance. He's got it. He's got it. Oh. Oh. John, just a little this bit. This is it. Too soft. Gonna no pressure. Hit this hot nope. enough that she can hit one of those blue balls as a chance. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. Maybe, oh, oh right. boy. We've been seeing the balls go straight all game. This so last game, we've seen a lot of curves. So the, so the fire did it. They were able to come out on top. They won a game. It was getting a little scary there. They did win a game. Of course, it had to be against the procedures <laughs> that, uh, well, you know. Seniors so came back you, and you gave did themselves it. a heck of a game. So, Chief, you're able to pull it off. You know, are you glad at least you didn't shut them out? I, uh, it was a fun game. We can hold our heads high now. It's a good senior team. Mr. Palmer was, uh, he's all right. He's a veteran. Yeah, Southpaw, man. You yeah. got to watch out those Southpaws. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud. So yeah. thanks for your support, too, by the way. Not. What? what the result? Yeah, between, I, I what? now what? understand what? what you and Patrick did no. to my poor team. <laughs> Never do that. Wow. Never. But. We still have the award presentation. Oh. Down here, Judy. Judy, down oh. here. Oh, you know what? I think Chief oh, Slammer should put him on him. There we go. Chief Slammer. Come on. There you go, guys. I think the fire. Come on. The fire. Let the, let the, there we go. This is. Oh, can I get a picture of this? Hold on. You guys, get in line, all four of you. How many, how many years of victory with no medal, and now I have to present. Right, great. All four at the same time. Congratulations. I'll never take this now, off. Now, oh. does this make the victory a little sweeter? Oh, yeah, especially with this fine medallion. I'll wear this every day so Steve can see it. Even the losers you want to? Yeah. Oh, all right, come on, guys. Even the losers. We got to get a picture. Watching 2017 to a close, the award ceremony where the fire department, they they took it and gave the police their uh, due prizes. So for Tom Nappy and Pat O'Brien for stepping in today, I'm Mike Terosian, and that was Bocce 2017. We'll see you next year.